Hey everybody, we're about to do something you should never do yourself. You should always go to a doctor to do this, but I'm cheap ass motherfucker and I'm impatient and I just want to get it done. Um, for those who don't know, I have a case of the cauliflower ear. Now, even though I've been grappling for well over a decade, this actually came from striking. So let that be a lesson to all you people who are afraid of uh, grappling because you might get cauliflower you can get it from striking. And actually, I've been meeting a lot of people who have been getting it from striking. Anyway, a couple ingredients that we need that are the key components. Number one, rubbing alcohol. you got to keep it clean. Number two, cotton swab and syringe. Now, you might notice that this particular one is a little thick. It's 20 gauge. It's the only one we can get our hands on because we're not intravenous drug users or diabetic. So we got that from a local vet. <laughs> so it's going to be a little uncomfortable because it's a very thick 20 gauge needle as opposed to normally, which is like a 24 gauge or thinner. Got some Neosporin um, for aftermath and some gauze and Q-tips or whatever to help clean up the mess. Uh, we'll see what happens. We got uh, Nurse Dragon later here to help and, uh, and uh, an executioner on the camera. So we're ready to go. All right, let's see what happens. Don't make fun of me if it's cool. Like again, it says awfully thick gauge needle, so hopefully it actually really hurts too because I've had this for a little over a week now and it keeps getting pounded and it's really full. In fact, the other night I was training with it, I got hit in the head and it felt like it actually popped. Uh, so it's really sore. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what happens here. Let's see, move. Let's see. Sit. We're almost done. Sit. Okay. Yeah. Just pull it out as far as you can go. Back nice and slow, draining out the blood and pus that builds up inside. Is that it? No. The technical term is aspiration. So let's check this out. You, got. you have a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Let's check out that. Here, it would not stick that back in. Nope. See him kind of leaking here a little bit. Mm hmm. Still a little bit so, I would actually probably see what happens if I just squeeze this out a little bit. Is anything coming out? Anything coming out? I don't see anything here. A little bit. Mm. Probably will have to stick it in again. Not a big enough hole. That probably was a really stupid idea for me to just do that. So should we open it? Um, open or you want to wait? I don't know. It's like it did last night, the last time that we did it. Let's see. It's pretty empty, actually. That may just be... It's because saggy scar, skin, skin. It may just be scar tissue in there now. Yeah, it looks like I felt something just come out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, so let's clean this up. Oh, yeah. Looking a little bit like, is it Evander Holyfield who got his ear bitten by Tyson? <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to clean up this mess. This is where we're going to break out the Q-tips. Also, to really get it nice and clean inside. You can just dip mm -hmm. this in the rubbing alcohol. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side too. Yep. 
I'm going to get some uh, Neosporin on this. Also, I need to keep it squeezed shut, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I look forward so. Now for the... After shot. Oh, yeah. Drained significantly. You can tell it doesn't look like it's about to explode. <laughs> um, there's actually a little bit of uh, saggy skin in there just because I've had this now for a while. The skin's all stretched out. Uh, again, you shouldn't really do this yourself. Kind of not a good example, but I'm impatient, like I said. All right, take it easy. Hopefully this doesn't fill back up again.